Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I know it has been an absolutely long time coming. I am so sorry. Um, I've just been so busy but I'm gonna do it today. So I have the video I originally posted where you guys posted all of your questions. So all I'm gonna do is just work my way through the comments and um, let you guys know what it is you wanna know. Also, you may have noticed I have a little guest in my video today. Um, it is a Saturday, which means we have my niece and nephew around all day and he wants to be in my room. We've already had a few arguments about him not being quiet. Um, so if he interrupts, I'm sorry. Um, just, just try and let him do his thing. Okay, so the first question is, what has been your favorite hair color so far and why? So my favorite hair color was probably when I had half red, half black. I really, really, really love that hair. Um, unfortunately, it was so hard to upkeep, um, especially red. Those of you who have had red hair will know it is an absolute nightmare. It's expensive and it damages a lot of things in the process. Okay, so someone actually put, when are you going to do another video? I'm missing them with a crying face. I'm sorry. I'm gonna actually do a separate um, life update for you guys so you can know what's been going on. It's nothing major. I've just been so busy and my free time hasn't been able to include filming because I just don't have that much of it. Where would you like to travel anywhere in the world and why? So I actually really, really want to go to America. I'm not entirely sure where I wanted to go in America. The thing that probably attracts me the mo most is the food, or at least what I have in my head of what the food's going to be like over there. Um, I feel like everything food-wise is just so much better and done so much better over there. Um, it's also, you know, the stereotype that I have, I guess, it's much more fattening, which is what I would go over there for. Like, I would go over there to just have, like, an eating holiday. Um, and the one thing I want to do, like, before I die, is to go to America, go and eat breakfast in, like, an old-style diner or something and have, like, a stack of pancakes. That would just be, like, amazing. I would absolutely love it. That's the reason I would go. Do you have any advice on accounting as I have just started my course? I'm quite glad that someone actually brought accounting up because that is actually where all of my time goes. And it's actually such a big part of my life and no one really seems to ask about it, I guess. So thank you for asking that. Um, advice would just be, there's going to be a lot of things that you don't understand. There's a lot of things that I wish they would have taught us in school because it would have just helped. Um, even simple things such as bookkeeping. Even now I'm on level four, so I've already done level two and three. Um, three was a little bit tricky, four is proving to be quite difficult. Just revise a hell of a lot. So as soon as you start a new unit, my advice is to start a revision at the same time. So even if it's just making revision notes or like the cue cards or something, I just keep doing it all the time. Just try your best. It is really, really hard work, but if you put in the effort, then you'll definitely be able to do it. The next question is, if I had one wish, what would it be? I remember answering this in the first time I tried to answer this question and I got a bit emotional. Um, I would actually really like to bring my dog back. Um, do you know, even if it was just 10 minutes of like bringing her back, that would be like amazing. <laughs> okay, so this next one, <laughs> I hope Chris doesn't watch this. Um, my questions are, do you and Chris plan to wed and do you want kids? So you'll be pleased to know that me and Chris are still together. It has been um, over two years now and I have always, since I was a little girl, wanted to get married and have kids and have do the whole traditional thing. Um, I actually believe very strongly in it. We have talked about marriage. Um, he knows that I will never ever propose to him and that if we were to be married, I would wait for him to propose to me, but I'm not waiting <laughs> forever. It's basically what we spoke about. Like, I don't want to know when it's gonna happen. Like, I want it to happen and I want it to be perfect and like a fairy tale and I want someone recording the whole thing. Um, but at the same time, I don't wanna be waiting. I don't wanna get to like, 
I don't know, like even 27. I'm 21 now, but if it was getting towards the end of my 20s, I'd be a bit like, Ugh. I don't know. It, I don't want to wait that long. Like, um, <clears throat> And that's because going into the next one, do you want kids? I've always wanted kids. One of the things that I actually want out of life is to be a mum. And if I ever got told that I couldn't be a mum, it would absolutely break my heart. I don't know, there's just something about it. I never used to want to be a mum as I was growing up, but something really, really strong, really strong feeling inside me that's like, you really want to be a mum, and one day you will be a mum. And if anything ever stops that, it's going to kill me. And we have spoke about children as well. Um, and the response that I usually get is, yes, but not for a very, very, very very long time um is usually what he says to me which is fine um so yes um we have spoke about both but it's unknown it's unknown territory for both of us so yeah that's all i'm gonna say just in case <laughs> this next question is what is my holy grail foundation i have still been trying to find the perfect foundation um, the one I'm currently using I like, it's the best I've used so far but it's not like the best ever. Um, it is Revlon's Colour Stay Foundation in Buff, I think it is. It's not the lightest colour they do, it's the next one. Um, the thing I found, the thing I don't like about it is the fact that it hasn't got a pump. So I'm actually, I bought a bottle last week and I've nearly gone through it just because you end up tipping too much out all the time. Um, and that it's it sticks to your skin that well that when you try and get it off it's actually really really hard to get off so i actually don't have a holy grail foundation i want to ask you guys what foundation i should be trying because i still haven't found one that i am in love with the next one is what is my favorite hair extension company and what part of the uk are you from in brackets guessing birmingham and what are my favorite favorite mac products so my favorite hair extension company i've actually done a video where i compare loads of them if you haven't yet seen it it's like the ultimate hair extension showdown or something which i actually got in trouble for um i could go more into it another time but i got in trouble for it basically with a certain company um anyway my favorite is oh what are they called was it look no it's not lush it was um Dirty Looks. Oh my gosh, my brain went dead. It was Dirty Looks hair extensions just because they are so affordable and they are by far the best quality hair extensions I've seen. Um, the thing that probably wowed me the most is the fact that the thickness at the end of the hair extensions is just as good as it is at the top. What part of the UK are from? You are correct in guessing Birmingham. I am from Birmingham. I don't really have that Brummy accent I don't feel like, especially not in filming because this voice sort of just comes out and you get a posher version, version of me. Um, but yeah, I am from Birmingham. And what are my favourite MAC products? So I actually haven't tried many MAC products at all. Like I feel like it's too much of a risk because I don't actually have that money to spare. So if I spent £20 on something, I don't know. I don't even know. Like I'd be scared that I would never use it. So the main thing I have is the MAC lipsticks, which I am in love with, um, and still want more and more and more of them. Um, I do want to try MAC's foundation, but again, I wouldn't even know what to try. What should I try from MAC? Because I really have no idea. Uh, you're going to have to help me out a little bit. This is actually a really, really good one. If you could go back in time, what advice or words of encouragement would you give your younger self? I'd want to do it a few times. So I'd want to do it probably when I was about eight. I don't know. I'd want to be like, just tell my eight year self to be nicer. And then I think I'd have to go back to my maybe 15 year old self and just be like, you're not fat and whatever anyone says to you if people call you names they call you fat they offend the way you look just ignore them it's puppy fat and it will go and if you do start to get into a relationship don't let them walk all over you don't let them call you fat and don't let them make you feel like they should never ever make you feel that way and you shouldn't let them and then i would have to go back again probably to my 18 year old self and say leave him He's, he's bad for you. Really, really bad for you. You may think you're in love, but you are not. Get rid 
quicker than you think you will honestly you'll save yourself so much time so much effort so much money and you'll be much much happier okay so moving on the next one is when you were younger what did you want to achieve at the age you are now and have you achieved it if i'm honest i really really don't know the only thing i remember is like wanting to get a job and work at asda or something like that i really wanted to work at asda i'm not sure maybe it was just the tills um but obviously that's a child brain um, and I haven't worked at Asda, I've worked at Wilkinson's on a till for a couple of years so maybe that's close. Um, I've never really been the, the, the type of kid or been in the sort of family that encourages things like that. I don't know, I don't even know what would be something you would achieve. Um, just because I changed my mind so much I have no idea but I don't know. The next one is favourite skincare must have. Oh, I know. Now, this is something I use all the time. I've used for absolute years, and it is Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life. If you've been following me for a while, you've seen it in my skincare favourites, probably in my Christmas present hauls, everything. Um, last year for Christmas, I think everyone bought me a tub of it, and like, I've only just finished one up. But anyway, I use it on my face just because I feel like it makes my face really, really clean. Um, gets all of that colour stay foundation off that I struggle to get off. You've lost a lot of weight, you look gorgeous, thank you very much. Um, how did you lose the weight? I came out of a really, really rubbish relationship and I think... I, I don't know, like, I, I wish there was something I could say, like, this is what I did. Um, but there wasn't, like, I still feel like I have weight to lose, like, looking at myself, there is still weight to come off but I'm fine like if I had to live the rest of my life and never lose another pound like who's it really gonna affect like I'm fine I have a boyfriend that loves me and finds me attractive it's fine I suppose changing the way I ate I was in a relationship where I'd eat takeaways all the time probably about five nights out of seven in a week um, really really bad and then I upped my exercise and then it just sort of started coming off I guess would you go back to blonde or what's your next hair inspiration no I would never ever go back to blonde I have spent nearly two years at growing my hair back from when it was destroyed by bleach and everything else there is no way I would go blonde um, I also feel like blonde doesn't really suit me I feel like it makes me look a bit bimbo-ish not that I'm trying to include everyone in a blonde stereotype but me personally I feel like it doesn't suit me at all um, my hair inspiration I recently bought my Kaloop extensions again which I am going to put in after August so maybe in September time I will be coming at you with new hair and new weave <laughs> What is your favourite song that you have been listening to for the past few weeks and you can't get out of your head? The one that I really, really liked is the one that's at the end of Fast and Furious 7. Is it like, See You Again or something? Brain's not really working. It's Wiz Khalifa. Hopefully you know which one I'm talking about, but it's really, really nice and heartfelt and I love it. Um, and there's another one on at the moment that Radio 1 keep repeating. It's like... Are you with me? Uh, some, some Mexican sky. Are you with me? Are you with me? That one, I have no idea who it's by, but I really, really like it. See, I did say you guys could ask me absolutely anything, and one of which, thanks to Rachel, is have you ever pooped your pants? Um, well, seeing as I'm being honest, yes, I have. Um, obviously, you do it as you're a kid, but I remember doing it like when I was about eight or ten. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Like, I must have just done it in a dream and then I woke up and I was like... <gasps> and basically I had to run into the bathroom and like I just threw my underwear away. Like I know this is gross but I'm so honest about these things. Um, I threw my underwear away and just like washed myself, put new knickers on and went back to bed and that was it and no one ever knew until I just broadcasted it on the internet. <laughs> How tall are you and what is your weight now? What diet can you recommend? I am five foot three inches, so I'm relatively small. So weight on me tends to look worse than it would if I was a few inches taller, but that's always the, 
Always the thing people say, isn't it? Um, my weight now, oh, if I'm honest, I don't know because I've been avoiding scales for about six weeks after I came off holiday, basically. Um, after I came off holiday, I put on like half a stone because it was all inclusive and I was eating like pudding after every meal for breakfast. I was eating like croissants, um, pan of chocolates, and pancakes covered in chocolate and cream and all of this really, really yummy but bad stuff. Um, so when I came back off holiday, I was 11 stone, um, which is 140, 154 pounds. Um, I know I've lost some since then, but I've just been... You know when you avoid the scales because you just really don't want to know and don't want to depress yourself? That's what I've been doing, so I don't have an accurate figure to give you, but I plan on getting on the scale soon. I keep staring at them like, not ready. So the next part of that question was what diet do you recommend? I am not the person to talk to about diets. I really don't do diets. Even calling something I'm doing a diet completely sabotages it in every way possible. Um, I could never do a diet, it just, just I'm just setting myself up to fail because if I want something I'll eat it or like if I want something it's not in the house I'm gonna go and buy it and then I'm gonna eat it and really enjoy it. Um, so unfortunately I can't recommend a diet, um, especially because I'm not actually trying to lose weight at the moment, I'm sort of sort of being lazy which is fine with me at the moment where do you see yourself in 10 years time so in 10 years i will be oh my gosh i'll be 31 years old and this little man behind me will be 15. Oh, it'll be 15. i'd like to think i would well in fact no i will have moved out I will be driving because i still don't know how to um i will hopefully be engaged do I want to be pregnant by then? I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, it depends. Um, probably not. As long as I have a good income um, and I'm doing fine job-wise, then maybe we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I've probably just completely scared Chris if he's watching this. Um, the next one is... Any plans for new piercings or tattoos? So piercings I've actually grown out of, unfortunately. I'm so sorry. Um, I know that's going to upset some of you because that's sort of how I started on YouTube. I have actually taken out my tongue piercing, which... There you go. There's, there's kind of like... The hole isn't there anymore. I took it out just because I value my teeth more than I do a bit metal through my tongue. Um, I feel like I've sort of outgrown that that phase I think for me probably was a very long phase but a lot of my piercings turned out terribly as you know because I talked about them all um, and I ended up in hospital loads of times or at the doctors with tattoos I actually have no tattoos at the moment I do want them but I also want to lose weight first because I think it'd look better and then of course there's me saying that I'm fine with the way I look and so I still don't have a tattoo so I don't know, probably in the future, but not yet. Do you have any YouTubers you get excited about when they upload? And is there any YouTubers that you think are overrated? So me personally, I hate watching YouTubers that are so big now that they're doing other things, like they've got their own brands out, they've got their own books, they're doing their own things. Um, just because... I don't want people to think that it's a jealousy thing because like it's it's not I just I can connect to someone more if they're more like me so I like to watch younger girls talk about makeup hair things like that who don't come from uh, a background fueled by parents money that's probably one of the things that annoy me the most um, because instead of well, I don't know, like, instead of working for it, you've been given it, and I don't know, I just don't like it. So I kind of went through all of my subscriptions and cleared them all out. Um, and I actually am only subscribed to about 100 people now. Some of them are, like, well-known beauty gurus, but I don't actually tend to watch their videos. Um, I just like to know what's going on, basically. Um, but the people that I actually really like to watch, um, there's quite a few you which I can never like recall the names of so I don't want to like upset anyone um but there are a few that I really really like overrated youtubers I don't want to 
say anyone like I don't know it's more like the ones with millions and millions of subscribers apart from Tyler Oakley because he's just amazing um, and he's so down to earth whereas some people just aren't that's all I'm gonna say if you get my credits put in again we film with updated video yes I will as soon as I put those in I will do a video if you could have any hair colour you want, what would it be? I'd be ginger. I really, really, really want to be ginger. I want to be that rustic kind of orange colour, like a dark orange that I was trying to go for when I did that dye my hair orange video and it completely failed and then I ended up cutting all my hair off and this is where we are two years later. <laughs> what helps you start a channel? I feel like I need perfect light, background, editing skills and so on. Being a perfectionist is stopping me from starting. What advice would you have for people that are maybe intimidated by the top YouTubers? Okay, so when I first started my channel, I actually started with a webcam um, and very, very little editing skills, which the webcam videos you can still find on my channel if you go back years and years and years. Um, we have some really awesome scene hair which we won't talk about. The background was always something that would really bother me. I always try to film in front of a window so with natural light it's getting a bit dark in the day now so we're getting a few shadows um, and I'm not right up close by the window. But background wise just get the natural light, try and do it in the daytime, in the morning so you have nice light coming on your face. Um, then you won't need lights. I know I've always looked into getting lights and then just thought, oh, no, this is a waste of money and effort and just, I don't need to be doing it. I don't think it would be intimidating. It probably would take you a lot longer to get noticed now than it would have been when I started years ago. But that is no reason for you not to start it. It is an absolute hobby of mine that I love and I think you could learn to love it too. Okay, and the last one now, where's your favorite place to shop online? I love that little cheeky face. Um, ever since I ordered a new look card, which is like the credit card for new look, but new look only, I have been ordering a lot from there. I literally sit on their website, um, go for all the sales stuff and add to basket, add to basket, add to basket, add to basket. And then before I know it, I've got to like £300 worth of things in every single colour and size and um, extras just in case that one doesn't fit or just in case I don't like this one, I'll need something to go with it. And then I basically order it all, put it on my new look card so I don't have to pay for it. Um, and then when it comes, I go and pick it up, bring it home, try it all on, take 90% of it back, annoy the people in new look, um, get the refund put back on my new look card and then I end up, only end up paying for what I've kept which is probably about £20 worth um, and that's it and then I'll do it the next week and <laughs> the next week so like the people in new look probably really really hate me um, so yeah it, it's a good idea like I have a full wardrobe now um, and like that bag is from new look which I bought recently and I still haven't actually used it it's still got tags on but I do love new look so that is all from me. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope this isn't too long. If you think we should do another one of these and you have more questions, then let me know down below. Don't forget links to my Facebook, Instagram and Tumblr are down below. So if you want to come over and follow me, that would be awesome. Apart from that, I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys.